Alright guys, welcome back to your 47th C++ tutorial, and this tutorial is just a continuation from the last tutorial. So, what we did in the last tutorial is, we pretty much were working on the people.h header file, and now we're going to hop over to the people.cpp to start actually building our functions. But now that I think about it, let's go ahead and have, hop back over to the people header file, and aside from just the constructor, let's go ahead and build another function, just so we can print it out. It'll make everything uh, a lot easier to see. So let's go ahead and uh, make a function called, what was this one called? I want to make sure I don't name the same thing. This one is called print date. So we'll call this one print info, I guess. So print info. So this is pretty much going to create our object, and this is going to print out the information. Simple enough. So now that we have this people class created, in our constructor, we said it was going to take two things. Every person needs two pieces of information a name and a birthday so what we need to do is we need to assign the name that they passed in and the birthday that they passed in to the private variables name and date of birth so in order to do that what we need to use is a member initializer list anytime you're working with um, a class inside of another class you need to use a member initializer list so go ahead and remember don't put it inside your body right here. You put it between your parameters and your body. And again, all a member initializer list is, it's basically setting name equal to x, and it's going to set the variable date of birth equal to, uh, what do we pass in? B-O. So B-O. And also remember that you don't put a semicolon at the end of this. It already knows it's done because the body will start. So that's all we need to do for this right here. So again, we're going to be passing in two pieces of information. We're going to be passing it in a string and then a birthday object. It's going to take that string and set it equal to name, and it's going to take that birthday object and set it equal to date of birth. So now this class has a name, and now it has a birthday object that you can use. So let's take that information, and we can use that whenever we're building this other function, print info. So let's go ahead and, um, yeah, I guess I don't need to do anything before that. So let's go ahead and put void people print info. And of course, this print info doesn't take any information, but it's just going to print something out on the screen. So what it's going to do is see out your name variable, which would be Bucky Roberts, and then go ahead and write something like was born on, and then make sure you don't end the line because I want all this to be on one line and then after this in order to print that date remember we have a function inside our uh, birthday class that prints the date right here and we already passed in a birthday object inside this class so now this class has access to the birthday functions so we can go ahead and use this date of birth object right here that we created in order to use this print date function so let's go ahead and just write date of birth right there dot print date pretty cool huh so now whenever we print the info it's basically gonna say Bucky Roberts or excuse me Bucky Roberts was born on 12 28 86 pretty cool huh so now let's go over ooh wait a minute I almost forgot to do this we need to include a bunch of stuff inside this people class. Um, I'll talk you guys through it. The first thing we need to include is our IO stream and STD because you know we need to include those basically in every class. And aside from that, we also need to include this birthday header right here. And the reason we need to do that is because whenever, basically, whenever you're working with another class, you need to include the header. So yeah, I definitely just messed that up accidentally highlighted something so one more time okay let's not copy and paste in random spots this time alright so let's go ahead and in our main.cpp um, everything looks good to go so far actually what we need to do is since we're going to be working with birthday objects and people objects in this one we need to include include those headers as well so go ahead and grab this and include it right there and go ahead and grab this and include it right there. So basically you see whenever you're working with the object you need to include it. Simple enough. So check this out. 
since the people class in order to create an object you need a birthday object whenever we run our main we need to create that birthday object first so remember in our birthday object when we first create it our object needs three pieces of information a month a day and a year so let's go ahead and create a birthday object if I spell it right birthday and we'll just name it birth object and it needs those three pieces of information a month a day and a year so now we have a birthday object created called birth object and this birthday object pretty much took month day and year and set it equal to 12 28 86 so now we can go ahead and create a people object people I'm just gonna name mine Bucky Roberts and you're saying alright well what information does the people class need well whenever we create a people object it needs a string as the name and it needs a birthday object right there so first let's give it a name Bucky the King and the second piece of information it needed was a birthday object well it just so happens that we created one up here so let's go ahead and pass that in right there so after this what we need to do is might as well just print out the info right here so remember in the people class we had a function called print info and it just printed out the name and the birthday so go ahead and type your object name Bucky Roberts dot print info and remember it doesn't take any parameters and let's run this and see how many errors I got one so hold on one and all right, I see what's going on alright see this uh, whenever we created this constructor we forgot to pass it in the parameters so just go ahead and copy these parameters copy and paste so hopefully that's the only errors we got and it looks good to go so Bucky the King was born on 12 28 1986 works awesome so let me talk you guys through one last time what we did we just created a basic birthday class and this birthday class had three variables a month a day and a year so whenever we created a birthday object it took that month day in a year and assign it to the three birthday variables month day in a year so we got the birthday class taken care of and then we decided to build another people class now the people class whenever you build a person it needed two pieces of information it needed a string which we gave it Bucky the King and it needed a birthday object so when, for example whenever we had a birthday object right here we could pass it in second and what it did is in the main program it took the name and set it equal to the variable name and it took the birthday object and set it equal to the object date of birth so that basically gave us access to the birthday class so from there we were able to use date of birth and the function in the birthday class to print out the birthday so basically whenever I run this this is a function from the people class and this is actually a function from the uh, birthday class we just tied them together in one function right here pretty cool huh so that is basically what um, composition is composition is basically using other classes inside your class using objects of other classes inside your class um, that's all I'm gonna go over for composition now hopefully you guys understand it. if you don't definitely go uh, check out my forum and just type in whatever question you have and a ton of people are willing to help you but for now that's all I have for you guys this was a pretty long tutorial so go take a break go uh, grab a milkshake or something and when you're done you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video